Hey, Dr. Leo Kralitz here. I've got a follow-up that we're going to check out right now. It's a follow-up to fleshy, ingrown nail removal. So we're going to take a look and see how it is. And it's feeling pretty good? Yes, sir. All right, let's check it out here. Okay, so if you remember before, we took a lot of the flesh off the side of the toe. There was that huge amount of granulation tissue sitting there that we cut out of there. And now you can see from the silver nitrate, it burned it down and a lot of the uh, tissue is gone. We also cut a lot of it out. Um, now it's healing from the inside out, but there's a layer of exudate, which is drainage, and the drainage dries up into a crust. And you can see it when you look closely at it. And I'm gonna trim some of this off of here. Now you may feel that if, if it hurts too much, let me know. A lot of this is dead tissue, so tell me if you're feeling anything, okay? But you can see how it comes off real nicely here. And we're gonna peel off all this dead skin around the toe. And then we're gonna go back into the area where we actually remove this up. This is where it's gonna get a little sensitive. Are you doing okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. So I'm back by the eponychium and that's the area where the nail grows from. You did a good job here cleaning that. And when you look at it, you can see how the tissue is white. That's called maceration. And the maceration is just from a dr the drainage. And the drainage sitting on the toe and on the skin for any period of time causes the skin to get white. It's like being in a swimming pool too long. And your skin turns white. It gets a whitish color because it gets waterlogged, basically. And that's what maceration is. Now we're going to see if we can get any of this out. And that's just macerated. That's macerated tissue underneath there. So we're going to have him dry this a little bit more. And we're going to have him leave this open to the air more, especially at nighttime. And he can wear just a sock on this at nighttime after he puts the antibiotic ointment on there. This is doing really well here. I'm trying to go back under the eponychium a little bit, and this is very sensitive for people. And that looks really good. You can see the nice straight edge to the nail right there. That's just tissue underneath. That'll actually go back to a normal color and heal in from the inside out. And this eventually is gonna move over towards the toe. So he's getting excellent healing. I'm gonna put some, um, just some alcohol on here. That'll help dry it out a little bit. It might burn a little bit for him. Um, but it's going to dry it just for a second here. You okay? Is yeah. that burning? It's okay. Okay. And then I'm going to put a little bit of a dressing on here too. He'll take this off tonight and I'm going to have him start using betadine on this. The betadine, it can slow down the healing time, but I like it for about a week because it helps dry it out. And you saw how macerated the tissue was. So this will dry out the tissue and then as it heals, it can start moving towards the edge of the nail and it'll look perfect once it's all healed in. And we'll, we'll come back and take a look in a couple more weeks. Thanks.